What's going on guys? Rich Boy J here back with another video and today we are streaming this uh, Star Killer turret right here. So I know I was supposed to put out an update for Star Killer yesterday. I've just been super busy lately and couldn't really find the time to get enough of this thing built so I figured why not make up for it by just putting out stream where I'm working on this thing. I literally just got off work and I was like I want to go home and I'm going to stream. So before I, I guess, really start diving into this, I can show you guys what the heck has been done. Um, so the LDD file for the turret is completely done. That is something you'll see on the update, which will hopefully be up tomorrow. So this is uh, kind of what I'm working with. This is the base of it. Um, nothing super special right now, but this is it. It's, I guess, somewhat big. Um, and then this section is actually hinged and it would connect to the back like right here and then there's going to be two large panels that cover the side so right now I'm actually going to get started up on those panels so these three uh, subsections right here I can actually set aside not that I have much space to work with right now anyways but um, yeah we'll see how this goes I figured uh, why not give you guys a little surprise uh, star killer stream so how's everyone doing tonight actually I don't want to put it right there that would actually get in the way I just sit it that's the thing about building right here like I don't want to put anything in front because my parts are right here by the way like none of this is sorted right like I'm just taking parts out of my collection to um, build from so that's why like I have to have access to these parts in front of me. Oh yeah, and the beeping is the uh, time lapse. I'm doing a time lapse. This will be in the uh, video update. So that's that. So Nacho Nacho, he says he has an exam. Good luck on your exam. I'm sitting in a Walmart parking lot. Are you at least in a car? Or are you like outside in the parking lot? What's up, Lego fan 95 Mini Cardi? Can you explain that name? Like, just start, like, just explain that name. I would love to know. What's up, Solid X Astro? I feel like I haven't seen you around here in quite some time. Jay, when your room is all uh, ready and nice, you should do a room tour. I know, like, I am so overdue on a room tour. I keep telling people I'm going to do it. But, I mean, you can tell, even from this frame, like, a room's a mess right now. I just have not found the time to clean it, to do a room tour, but it will certainly happen before the end of the year, hopefully. Um, hey, shout out to Perfectly Legitimate Name. He says, uh, how about those Texans? Yes, got a big win yesterday over the Kansas City Chiefs. I was super hyped about that, and I thought, why not represent today on stream? So I'm going to need these bad boys right here. What's up, Adventure Brick Studios? I love the Titanic. Says, so sorry, I missed the last live stream. Friend who needed a lung, and so I decided to help. And I can say, I may not have both of my lungs, but I still have my friend. All right, that is something. Finally, a Texan. What do you mean, finally? We're four and two. We've we've gotten some wins this year. I'm actually really happy with how the Texans are doing uh, this season. I feel like we're finally putting it together. I feel like we're finally putting it together. Deshaun Watson is a beast, that's for sure. Boy, are you going to make a turbo laser? That is exactly what I'm doing. I'm making a turbo laser. Want to sneak into your house while you're away and take apart Starkiller Base piece by piece? That is evil. Says I'm getting confused. I'm I'm getting so confused on your and Matt's mock. LOL. Was it you or him bringing your guys' current mock to Chicago? I'm gonna assume that's him, because I'm not taking this to Chicago. <laughs> Just remember, Matt lives much closer to Chicago than I do, so it's much easier for him to take mocks there. With Andrew Luck gone, the Texans should make it past the wild card, but I guess we have to see how they do against the Colts this week. Um, I think, I don't know. I don't, 
I'm, I wasn't. If Andrew Luck was still playing, I wouldn't be super concerned about him. Like, yeah, they tore us up last year in the wild card, but I think we're a better team than we were back then. Are you gonna have any Easter eggs in your mock? Oh yeah, oh yeah. There will be a plethora of Easter eggs in this mock. Wasn't there supposed to be a trailer or something today? That was heavily rumored that we were going to get a trailer for episode 9. It obviously didn't happen. Um, I've been hearing the 21st could uh, be when it happens. Oh yeah, Jay, after this December, I may sadly miss some streams since I'm waiting until I visit my girlfriend in Florida this January to watch Rise of Skywalker with her. Wow! That is some dedication, bro. I would really have to love a girl to wait to see Star Wars with her. So is she like a big fan? Uh, two, four, six, eight. Wow, dude. Oh yeah, luckily my drive is two and a half hours, uh, minutes, or two and a half hours, two hours, 30 minutes to uh, Chicago. Last Chicago was three hours because of traffic. Some people didn't know how to drive. That's usually how it goes. What's up, Ithor Bricks? Wow, dude. I don't know, man. That would be a tall task. For a girl to be like, look, I want to make you wait like a month to see Star Wars because I want to see it with you. I don't know about I don't know if I could commit to that. I don't know, man. Yeah, we're both going to go see uh, the last Skywalker Saga movie together as a date since it's such a special occasion. You're a better man than I am. Star Wars cars and Lego are more important than women learn to prioritize. Oh, God. End bomb with the hot takes. Is the Rise of Skywalker trailer supposed to come today? I want to say probably not. My mom's first over movie date she went on was to Star Wars Episode Four. That's awesome. I've never actually been on a date to see Star Wars. I may miss y'all for a bit because I don't want spoils. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my own channel when it comes to us, uh, like, episode 9. Because obviously, you know, there are trolls out there who are going to spoil the film. And I like to protect not only myself, but also you guys from it. So, I may just go a while without streaming, which sucks. Like, streaming is such an important part of my channel. But I'd rather go into uh, to the movie Fresh. This damn you, Jay, for being a Texans fan. Are you a Cowboys fan? And yes, Deshaun Watson, bro. The truth. Best quarterback in the league. What's up, Dayton? How you doing, bro? He says, good day. Four of those, three of these. I need one more. Put out a channel-specific Discord for only talking about Episode 9. I mean, the issue isn't that so much as it is, like, if I'm streaming, right? Like, anyone can comment in the chat, and it's very visible. So, you know, like, how do you handle that, right? Like, you know, if someone decides to post a spoiler, you know, even if I have mods, like, one, they don't want to see spoilers, and two, you know, it's probably going to be too late. So, I don't know. We'll see. Like, I'm not worried about giving people... I'm not worried about... Once the movie is out, you know, it's fair game. Like, it's, what's going to happen is it's going to happen. But I'm talking about, like, before the film, because, I mean, there's going to be spoilers out there. Like, that, that's just going to happen. Um, if for no other reason, then the movie will probably premiere in other countries before it does in the U.S. So, um, we'll have to see. He says, my first ever movie date I've been on, we saw The Mocking Jay. I love how you sold Jay, by the way. That was also the date I almost sold popcorn over my date. Now, currently, my ex. No, we didn't break up because of that. Are you sure? Are you sure that's not why you guys broke up? Um, no, I have not found out a way to support the mock yet. Kiati Mundi or Plo Koon? Um, I like Plo Koon in Clone Wars. I'll go with Plo Koon. I mean, Keanu Mundy actually has lines in the film, so that gives him a, a little bit of a leg up, but Clone Wars Plo Koon was pretty cool. 
All right, see ya in bomb. By the way, I got a job at the certified Lego store in my state. Nice. Have you been enjoying it so far? Says, pretty sure we went on like 20 dates after that. Is that where it all went downhill, though? I mean, The Force Awakens is one of the best Star Wars films. No need to change your mind, because you're correct. You are correct. Hello, I'm staying up super late tonight so I can watch a bunch of this stream. I'm glad to hear that. I'm honestly not sure how long I'll stream. I don't know if this will be, like, super late, but we'll see how much work I can get done. Revenge of the Sith or Force Awakens. Not even close, Force Awakens. Not even close. You know what's so funny? Oh, my God. So, today at work, um, one of my coworkers uh, was... What, what were we talking about? Oh, we were looking at, like, photos of, like, Star Wars just costumes... And we see a picture of, like, a mud trooper. And one of my coworkers is like, oh, from uh, oh, look, it's a thing from the worst Star Wars movie. And I was just like, Solo's not that bad. Like, it's at least better than the prequels. Like, you, like, at the very least, Solo is, you know, the fourth worst Star Wars film. That's what I told him. And he was like, nah, I don't know. And I was basically just like, the acting alone in the prequels is enough to make solo better than it or any other of the star wars films better than the prequels um so then like literally like minutes later i ring someone up at the counter and um the person's mom is like are you a youtuber and i'm like yeah and it was like oh yeah my son recognized you i'm like okay cool like nice to meet you whatever um but like i just he was behind me like packing uh stuff in his pick a brick cup so i'm pretty sure you overheard the conversation and i just find the idea so funny that like you know you guys know me pretty well from listening to me like on stream and whatnot and like to like be in my store and like hearing me talk and of course the conversation you overhear is me bashing the prequels like that's just so funny to me i don't know i feel like a lot of people will bring up oh the prequel memes are great but does it do you not feel sad in at least some in at least some way that like you're saying you like a movie because of memes like come on like really could you imagine like could you imagine if like the original trilogy was only good because of memes like if star wars needed to be held up by memes like what does that say about Star Wars? <laughs> Have ever considered building Kashyyyk? Um, yeah, actually. Kashyyyk would be super fun to build. The figures wouldn't be a huge issue. He says, Jay, next year, Chicago, I want to give you something prequel related. Know how much you like them. Oh, man. Kaysen Garrett says the most upvoted post of all time on Reddit is a picture of Palpatine. That's actually kind of cool. I'm down with that. I like seeing my boy Palpatine get respect. I just don't like seeing him pop up in films he don't belong in. But that's a conversation for another day. What's your opinion on the Clone Wars? You mean the cartoon series or just the concept in itself? Sith Troopers are the coolest canon trooper designs changed my mind. Coolest canon trooper designs? I don't know if I'd say the Sith Trooper. I mean, Sith Trooper's really cool, don't get me wrong. Um, I mean, I love me some Phase 1 Clone Troopers. Can't get much better than that for me. I also love the standard First Order Stormtrooper. That's five. Hello, are you having a day? I'm guessing you mean a good day. Uh, yes, I'm having a good day. Make more songs so we can accidentally blast it at Chicago on someone's speaker. I'll be sure to have at least one more song before then. What do you think is the cringiest bit in the prequels? Oh man, that's hard. 
I mean, the one that comes to my mind immediately, though, is your so beautiful. It's only because I'm so in love. No, it's because I'm so in love with you. Well, are you saying that love has blinded you? <laughs> Not exactly. Ugh. Bro, I've been really feeling the that tight interceptor Lego set me recently. Bro, just built Jerex. Just built Jerex. Can't go wrong with a Jerex tight interceptor, bro. Yeah. So beautiful. I mean, how do you, how was that not ingrained in your head? Like, it's so awful. Man, I wish you were at the convention during that time. I think Lee was there when that happened. Yeah, we had left to go somewhere. And then when I, I saw someone posted it on one of their Instas. Most wanted Lego Star Wars set that hasn't been made. Something Kamino related, probably. Something with a Kaminoan would be great. I'm haunted by the kiss. Kiss that you should have that you know that you should never have given me. I pray that it will not become a skull. Oh God! And of course, she follows it up with, "If you follow your thoughts to the conclusion, you will see that they will take us to a place we cannot go." Oh, so bad, so bad. Oh man, so bad. If you follow your thoughts through the conclusion, you see that will take us to a place we cannot get. Like, who talks like that? What was he thinking? Don't, all, don't even get me started on, are you willing to defer your motion to allow a Senate... Oh, are you willing to defer your motion to the Senate to allow a commission to investigate the validity of your accusations? Oh my god. Lucas writes dialogue like a 12 year old trying to write Shakespeare pretty much Little Annie my have you grown so have you uh grown more beautiful I mean uh oh god I don't know how to talk to girls uh James you ever go inside the Astrodome yeah I went to a few monster truck shows there I actually like the scene when Anakin and Padme kiss before they enter the Geonos in arena. I mean, it's not a poorly executed scene. It's just out of nowhere. Like, why Like why? Why was she suddenly in love with him? She didn't show any sign before that of being interested in him at all. And then she just wants to kiss? Okay. 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 So when, we need to give George Lucas the Totally Understands Women Award. What's up, Trevor? How you doing, bro? Did you pick up those uh, pieces? Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I got so bored today, I took the Rap God song and sped it up to 30 seconds. Was that even enjoyable to listen to at that point? I love George Lucas trying to write natural banter on his own. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. That's George Lucas natural banter. George, Lu George Lucas natural banter is to chop them down like butter. So I guess they're completely useless. Chop them down like butter. I haven't felt this tense since we fell into that nest of gun dogs. You remember that nightmare, Master? And I rescued you, remember? Ah, yes. <laughs> What's up, Mason? How you doing, bro? Oh, 
Oh yes, I'm a huge Texans fan. What's up, 160 Legion? How do you feel about the deleted scene where Anakin's speaking droid, Brian? I don't know if we talked about that. How many uh, ATAT LEGO Star Wars sets that LEGO make? I mean, it depends on if you count that stupid, like, old school Technic one, but other than that, three. Well, four. Dude, look it up. If you haven't seen it, look it I want anyone watching this right now. If you haven't seen it, look up um, Revenge of the Sith, Anakin Speaks Droid, deleted scene. It is, it is even worse than Han Solo speaking Wookiee. I'll say that. Would you ever build a life-size Lego Jar Jar? Someone paid me enough money, I guess. Well, depends on how nice you are and how big your pocket book is ha 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 prequel humor is great America the best country Texas the best state Houston the best city bro Dallas is the worst city try again you forgot I killed them I killed them all not just the men but the women and the children too that's that is Right there is when Padme fell in love with him. Okay, but the, oh yeah, that's right, beep, boop, is up, is actually kind of funny somehow. But it's so cringy. I don't know, dude. What's up, Hunter? Dude, I'm excited to be designing my police gunship. I can't wait to see it. I know you're going to do a great job. I already know it. You know Anakin had to do it to him. What's up, James? You see? How goes the cannon? It's going pretty well. Most of it's on the floor right now. So it's not in my way, but, you know. You know. Okay, I just watched the scene. I don't even know what to think. I'm just glad it didn't end up in the film. George Lucas knew to at least not put that in the film. Here, I want a quest. Here's what we're going to do tonight, guys. I want to find the funniest prequel scene. That's our goal tonight. George Lucas, what if Jar Jar says, Excuse me, instead of excuse me. Lucky, lucky, Senator. I will admit, I love the way Jar Jar says, Lucky, lucky. Excuse me. Oh, no, 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 no. Did you authorize the creation of a clone army? No. Like genuinely funniest or cringiest? I mean like actually funny. My tongue is stuck. Opinions on MGF's thoughts about Disney CEO autobiography. I have no idea. <laughs> like, I have no idea what you're referring to. I'm sorry. Yeah, one of the ice and death sticks. Seriously, that's the goal tonight, guys. We gotta find the funniest prequel scene. Shout out to Lego Knots for subscribing, also. Yeah, one of the ice and death sticks. I don't know why he says it like Bugs Bunny. Yeah, what's up, Doc? Yeah. I want to go home and rethink my life. Uh, 
Our remaining systems will bow to the first order. <laughs> Funniest prequel scene is when Jar Jar gets kicked in the blank by the pit droid. Hilarious. Seriously, guys, we gotta find the funniest prequel scene. That's the goal for tonight. Hello, Boba. Is Django here? Yup. <laughs> yup. Dad. Twan Wee's here. I love how he also just had his armor just sitting on the floor. Pit droid gets sucked into the pod racer engines. I, I mean, honestly, is any of the slapstick in Star Wars funny ever? Get him, Dad. You made her betray me. You mean, isn't it? You turned her against me. You have done that yourself. Are you an angel? Honestly, the funniest part of Star Wars... Oh, God. Yeah, that's the funniest scene in the prequels. When they say, Get over here! No, the funniest part in Star Wars is... Or the prequel specifically. Is, um... Um... You, you, you go in slowly on the left. I'm taking him now! No, Anakin! Sap. You stupid little astro droid. I actually did think that scene was funny as a kid. You stupid little astro droid. If the prequels were better, then would Hayden still be an actor? Probably. You yeah, stupid little astro droid. You yeah, stupid little astro droid. Process them. Another funny scene is when Palps is forced pushed into the chair. No, I. Oh yeah, when his legs flip up. That that might be the funniest scene in the prequels. I agree. He says the super battle droid says, "Get over here!" Before saying, "You stupid little ash." No, he does not. Jay, one of my favorite actors was originally going to play Anakin for episode 3. Who was it? Best sound in all Star Wars. The closest to get over here in Star Wars and was Leia is when Leia says, "Han, get up here." There you go, Cena. Bro, don't even get me started on the Ilenium system. When my sister watched Episode One, she always laughs uncontrollably at Jar Jar. Why Jar Jar swimming of all things? 
I love when he does that stupid flip before he jumps in. Younglings, a Star Wars slaughter. Honestly, one of the funniest scenes in Star Wars is watching Ewan McGregor have to say younglings and, like, not laugh. It's so obvious he's trying so hard not to laugh. Like, watch that scene. He's trying so hard not to laugh. He's like, he killed junglings. He has to, like, hide his mouth because it's so funny and stupid. I can see you a picture of what he currently looks like and what he looked like when episode 3 came out. Yeah, sure. Leia, I love you. Han, get over here. Yo, honestly, that's true. The saddest scene in Star Wars is when the battle droid is being tortured. I mean, when the battle droid. The gop droid is being tor tortured by having its feet burned. I just double checked the Super Battle Droid footage. They do not say get up here. I know. I'm pretty sure Cena was kidding. Cena does not know what he's talking about. How can droids feel pain? Great question. I don't know. Apparently, gaunt droids have pain receivers on their feet. I don't know. Pain sensors. It says, I know he is kidding, but we can't say he is wrong until we've checked every second of Star Wars ever. Oh my god. He's going to have us all watching Star Wars so intently for a line that's never going to happen. Can I use Cold Like Hot Song in my Hoth Moktober episode? Go for it. If C-3PO can feel his joints almost freezing, I'd say why can't a gaunt droid feel pain? That's my response to that. Who's hyped for the new Star Wars Episode 9 trailer dropping this upcoming Monday? I mean, do we know that for sure? My Skywalker. That's too many of them. What are we going to do? Why does it sound like Peppa Pig is delivering that line? Jay, you down for a call this week? I got some free time. I have to see. I'm working a lot this week, but I would certainly enjoy it. Oh, the train of Darth Maul coming back ends. I'm glad he's not coming back in Clone Wars Season 7. Oh, wait. He is, and he's like a big part of it. I, mean, I know you were joking. You, I'm sure you already knew that. But <sighs> the fact that J Dave Filoni expects us to get excited over the idea of Darth Maul versus Ahsoka... Like, who cares? We already saw her fight freaking Darth Vader. Who cares? And I don't even dislike Ahsoka. I actually like Ahsoka, but I don't know. It was confirmed by John Boyega's agent who posted on Instagram the trailer was going to be aired during Sunday Night Football. Good. Good. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen it. D. Good. Yeah, I figured you meant Monday Night Football. Root Bear.
Ahsoka equals Bay. I can tell. I can tell you feel that way, Trevor. Ooh. Yeah, I know Ethan Network. And he does do an incredible um, Palpatine impression. I actually live, like, not far from him at all. I see Ethan Network relatively frequently? Relatively consistently? I think Toppy's face when he jabs at Mace is one of the funniest things in Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, I, that's probably up there for funniest prequel scenes. Ooh. Jay, I've been missing a live stream every for like a month because of school. I'm sorry to hear that. Hi, I'm Peppa Pig and this is my brother George. George Lucas. Get over here! Is it a turbo laser stream like you're building a laser or is the stream so fast and was so sudden? You'll never know the difference. Why you decided to stream this late? Um, I was going to build anyway so I figured why not just stream it. <laughs> Nothing much beyond that. I won't have you question my methods. I would guess I was wrong. I guess there was no trouble at all. <laughs> JB Brick Fanatic, there's your name. That's his name. I didn't want to wear it out. <laughs> I'm surprised no one's done that scene in Lego. Of the assassin, the first assassination attempt. <laughs> the Brick Builder Watch says, um, Lucasfilm needs to give us a rated R Jar Jar Binks film, make it three hours long, gritty, heartbreaking, and explore the character deeply, centered around his exile from the Gungan City. They can do like Joaquin Noah Joker style uh, Jar Jar Binks movie. How about that? What's up, X Studios 3000? Funniest moment in the original trilogy. For, funniest moment for me in the original trilogy is when Leia and Han are uh, in the Millennium Falcon when they're in the Exogorth and it shakes and she falls into him and she's like, um, oh, what happens? What does she say? I think she's like, let me go. And then he's like, don't get excited. And then she's like, oh, please, being held by you isn't nearly enough to get me excited. And then he looks at her like, um, sorry, princess, we didn't have time for anything else. That's my favorite. That's the funniest scene in all of Star Wars for me. That is just, that is actual, like, good writing. Do you ever wish you could live in a different time zone? Not meaning location, just time zone. Not really, no. I'm fine with central time zone. And I thought they smelled bad. On the outside, how much did you pay for your Eclipse Graphics torso? I think like 17 bucks. The difference with that though is I didn't have to quote unquote provide the artwork. They just had to turn existing artwork into a different color. So I don't know if they have to like do something, like make unique artwork. It might be more expensive. I'm assuming you're talking about it for the, um, for your Phasma. So it's it shouldn't be expensive. And I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Ja ja. Use that a boomba. Me I no have a boomba. Licky licky, Senator. Licky licky. Licky licky. Licky, licky. I 
Are they actually doing a documentary on that actor? And yes, I do remember when uh, Jar Jar got his face paralyzed when he hit his head on the pod racer engine connector beam. The best Joker is Jared Leto. Don't at me. If Rise of Skywalker is the last hour's movie, then will there be more spinoffs? I don't know if there will be more spinoffs. I mean, there's going to be another trilogy. I don't know if there's going to be more spinoffs, though. Jared Leto is a monster. I also want to get a clone helmet printed. They said it would cost a couple hundred dollars, and I had already designed the helmet in Photoshop. You want to get, like, a Lego clone helmet or, like, a clone helmet that will fit your head? Next Starkiller base update will hopefully be out tomorrow. We need ice and ice cream guys and many fake. So, um, Eclipse Graphics actually just dropped, uh, a custom version of him. I need to talk to them, see if I can get one to review. I'll put that on my to-do list. You have 33 viewers and only 18 likes. What's up with that? Yeah, go ahead and like the stream, guys. I'd appreciate it. How is B-Fab turning into Joker? A Lego one. I thought I wouldn't have to specify. I mean, for $200, I would assume, like, I don't know. Like, who would pay $200 for a Lego clone helmet? I don't know. There aren't enough likes on the stream, guys. You need to double your efforts. Everyone better like the stream or you're going to get a visit from the Boyo Ghost. And he's not as forgiving as I am. Also, I ate good for Thanksgiving. Oh, have I watched uh, the two? No, I have not seen the episodes of Resistance yet. I need to do that tomorrow. That's, that's my goal. Is there a limit to how many vids you like? I don't think so. It's not letting me like... Can no one like the stream? That's weird. Did you hear his laugh and almost laughed at everything? Oh, okay. Spooked over Boyo Ghost. You guys know the Boyo Ghost theme song? It goes like this. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better watch out. I'm telling you why. The Boyo Ghost is coming to your bedroom. He made a lit. He made a hit list. He's gonna check it twice. And he really doesn't care if you've been naughty or if you've been nice. The boy, yo, ghost, he's coming in your crib. He's going to find out where your whole family lives. The boy, yo, ghost is coming to your bedroom. So, Jay, what are you thinking of AEW so far? I actually haven't even watched AEW, so I have no opinion. I'm sorry, man. What makes a good mock a great mock to you? Uh, the detail. The boy, yo, ghost is coming to your bedroom. Can you put in a word with the boy, yo, ghost and tell him I want the UCS Star Destroyer? Sure, I'll let him know.
It might be the last gift you ever receive, but I'll certainly let him know. Worst UCS that you own. Definitely the uh, X-Wing. Why have you not watched it? Jay, it gives off really good Ruthless Aggression vibe. No LED crap or awful PG stuff. Very gritty, raw, unscripted. I mean, I'm sure, but um, I don't know. I just haven't been in a super like wrestling mood lately, if that's fair to say. Which is funny because like, my friends talk to me about AEW all the time at work. And I keep telling them, like, I know, I know, I need to watch it. I just haven't. Jay and JD, you should know who this is. Oh, I know exactly who it is. It's the Boyo Ghost. Everyone pledge allegiance to the Boyo Ghost. Have you seen the new Firestar Toys printed heads that have not animated Ahsoka Head, Shakti, and Arsene? Yes. I want to... I need to actually talk with them. Because I want to get every single one of those. The Shakti especially. Like... Worst Lego set, Twilight. Dang, I need to work at that store so I can talk to him. <laughs> Do you not have any, like, in real life wrestling friends? Shock T, more like Shock G. And yes, dude, I love those heads. Once again, especially the shock tea. I'll probably need the aura sing whenever I do the pottery smock, that's for sure. Shock tea, more like sha gi. Long live the boyo ghost. Not my brother who likes, just my brother who likes wrestling. Um, but you can only talk to one person so much. I feel you, bro. Did you watch Jesse Goods one and a half hour video on his opinion of every Star Wars set? No. That's not a video I plan to watch. Nothing against Jesse Good. I just... I don't know. I feel like if I'm going to watch a video like that, I'd want to watch it from someone who I consider to be like a huge Star Wars fan. I pledge allegiance to the Boyo Ghosts of the Boyo Club of America. And to my life, your hand at rest, one Boyo under God, invisible with spooks and pizza for all. Shock T seems to like the time of Jedi to have shock trooper. Seems like the time of Jedi to have shock troopers. Did you actually end up placing the order for all those that you found? I actually need to, I mean... Like, I would love to do that. I just... I feel like LEGO is so close to giving us updated um, shock troopers. What kind of memes has this uh, Star have Starkiller stream sparked so far? There are a lot of... Um, how can I even begin to explain this? A lot of get over here memes. Long story short... I was talking to Cena the other day, and he was convinced that at some point in a Star Wars film, someone says, get over here. And I was like, dude, like, that's a moral combat. No one says that in Star Wars. So people started, like, just making random quotes with people saying, get over here. Boyo ghost in the house. I can't afford the figures right now, but when this build is finished, I'll definitely order them. I mean, you'll knit them for that build, right? Would you want to... I mean, if you were doing a large-scale build, Trevor, I'm just curious. Would you want to do, like, the um, Imperial... The Imperial... The Republic Prison? The one infested... The one crawling with shock troopers? Did none of you find it kind of funny that, like, when they're approaching Grievous's ship... Anakin's like, yo, that's Grievous' ship, the one crawling with vulture droids. But, like, we never actually see any vulture droids in, or, like, a significant amount of them in the ship. Do me and the Boyo goes to have a history? I don't know, do you? 
I don't know what you do in your free time, rich girl, Jay. You should still make the pod racing mock. I definitely will at some point. I have not given up hope on the pod racing mock. Jay, when are you going to buy the brick arms? I'm not sure if I'm going to buy them. I don't know about that one yet, Chief. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better look out. I'm telling you why. The boy yo ghost is coming to your bedroom. Jay, I spent $45 on a Heath Ledger Joker minifig. Was it worth it? $45? I mean, I guess if you really like Joker. Jay, Firestar has a custom figure of Matt the Radar Technician. Do they really? Yo, that might have to be the move. How do I not know this? Have you ever heard the tra tragedy of <laughs> Coleman, Trevor, the Wise? Have you ever heard the tragedy of Coleman Trevor the doofus? He ran up on Django, got shot, and died. Yeah, I was mentioning earlier that they have Will Row Hood. Will Row Row your boat. Gently down the hood. Will Row Row your hood gently down the stream. Will row, row your hood gently down the stream. Blippity, bloppity, blippity, bloppity, blippity, bloppity, bloop. Wow, my name is Trevor. It's okay. Um, I'm doing a time lapse. That's why you hear pics being snapped. Worst Jedi death has to be um, Ayla Sakura. Welcome back, DMK. We were so lost without you. I'll check out the uh, pick whenever I get off stream, Hunter. The boy, yo, ghost is coming to your bedroom. What's up, David? How you doing, bro? The check next to David's name means he's reached certified pimp status. Don't believe anything you read. That's what it actually means. Who does Boyo Ghost you speak of seem nice? Yes. You don't really want to visit from him, though. If you, a visit from the Boyo Ghost is not a happy visit. D 
do you want me to explain what I do on my YouTube channel? Sure, go for it. Yes, I'm building turbo lasers, the two giant turbo lasers on Starkiller Base. I'm not even halfway through building one, and I know like this is going to be such a process, because they're huge. I didn't feel like, like, pre-pulling the pieces and then sorting them, so I'm just grabbing stuff from my collection as I go. And I'll substitute them with random colors if I have to. Jay, I feel I've reached the top of the Boyo Mountain since I am a mod on the big four Boyo YouTube channels. I mean, there is really only one Boyo YouTube channel, and it's mine. There are honorary Boyos, but there can only be one true Boyo. To become a true boyo is a power only one has achieved. But if we work together, I am sure we can discover the secret. Once more, the boyos will rule YouTube. I would love to do the prison break with uh, Cad Bane and Draco Hardeen and Moralo, Moralo of all. Probably spelled those wrong. Cad Bane's definitely spelled correct. Draco Hardeen looks mostly correct. What about Garrett? Is he not a true boyo? Oh, Garrett is the truest of boyos. But he's not a, a boyo master like myself. The Boyos are honestly, our institution is set up a lot like the, the Siths are. There can only be two. A master and an apprentice. No more, no less. No more, no less. How can I be a boyo and not be granted the rank of Grand Boyo? How can I be in the Boyo Lounge but not be grant granted the rank of Grand Boyo, of Boyo Master? Take a seat, young boyo. Okay, back for this. Why is Nightbot verified? Bro, Nightbot is a certified pimp. Shout out to Dandan6151. For the dollar eighteen super chat, that is a very specific number, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Like I love when people give me kind of like random. I mean, not necessarily random number super chats, but like, like people will give like five dollars and one cent for like the five hundred first, um, which is cool, right? Like it's. Like, for one, the, the Super Shine itself is cool, but also just, like, that specific number combination is cool. But it's also cool when people, like, just will donate just a random number for no real reason. Yeah, I figured that was it. You probably just had, you know, money in an account you were getting rid of. Appreciate it, though, dude. Once more, the Sith. Darth City is to Darth Maul. Remember, there can only be two, and you were replaced. Jay, what have what would you consider the best Lego Star Wars set made? Uh, UCS Star Destroyer or Public Gunship, the newest one. <laughs> Thursday, I'm free. We have time out shipping. I fell asleep Friday. Yes, we do. I might be free Thursday. I might be free at some point Thursday. Just let me know. Here's a question to you guys. I want to know how you guys feel about this. How do you guys feel about the idea of Sith Inquisitors? I'm under the impression that it's, like, it doesn't make sense. And I kind of talked about this a little bit, but I'd love to 
get, you know, a, a specific response from you guys. Just about Sith Inquisitors. Like, it just... It just seems like a cheap way to circumvent the rule of two, you know? Like, if we're going to make a big deal about there being only two Siths, why is it okay for there to be, like, quasi-Siths? Like, they use the Force, they have red lightsabers, they look like Siths, but they're not Siths. Like, I don't know. It just seems kind of... Like, if we're going to have the rule of two, like, have the rule of two, you know? Like... Don't try to skate around it. But we all know Dave Filoni has no restraint. It says, they're a cool concept, but yeah, they treat the rule of two. Exactly. Let alone that the Inquisitors that suck, they can't even hunt down a couple of rebels that have zero training. I'm going to tell you a little something called plot armor, bro. Explains a lot of things. Uh, see ya, Dan Dan. Take care, bro. The Inquisitors are cool, but the helicopter lightsaber is a bit silly. I mean, yeah, they're cool. I'm not talking about, like, you know, like, do you like them? I'm talking about, like, how do you feel about them in the context of the Sith? Like, do you think it disagrees with the idea of, um, with the idea of the rule of two for the Sith? The helicopter lightsaber was actually didn't really bother me a ton. Like it was like oh that's goofy, but I mean it's a cartoon, you know. Like goofy stuff happens in cartoons. It didn't. If it happened in the film, it'd be a lot more ridiculous. But in fact, it wasn't a cartoon. I don't know. It lessened the blow for me. I guess. I just I just feel like they fundamentally disagree with the the ideology of Siths. But I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? The rule two was only there to help strengthen the Sith and destroy the Jedi. Palpatine had no reason to follow it anymore, except that he does. Like he very clearly follows it. In the films, he follows it. It's him and it's Vader. The supplementary material around it, he doesn't follow it. But I'm saying, but that that's where the issue is. Like he clearly follows it. Jay, random fact of the day, an actress who plays Mandy in the Spongebob movie was Scarlett Johansson. That is so random. Why'd you scrap your job as Palace Mod? Should I use AV figures decals? I honestly don't know. I've never used them. I have no real opinion on them. I mean, other than they look good, I guess. Like, if they wanted to write canon in such a way, like in those films, that Palpatine was like, whatever, the heck with the rule of two. Like, I don't blame them. I think it's a kind of a stupid rule. But it's been established that that's a thing. A thing that he adheres to. So, like, why go against it in the cartoons? I just, I don't understand. Do I play Lego video games? Lego Star Wars. That's... That's the biggest one that I play. I mean, I play Lego Batman 2... I played the Lego movie game. I think that's pretty much it. That was Palace Mott got too big and the weight has got too much. I mean, is it sitting on a table or do you have to keep moving it? Last year at Chicago, I never told anyone this, but I got a room where the convention was at. On one of the days I woke up, the house cleaning lady walked in my room and started cleaning. I was still sleeping. 
Yeah, that can happen if you're in there. That's not uncommon at a hotel. Maybe Papatina just seen out and forgot about the rule too. I, I suppose. Jay, when are you bringing back Complete Saga's videos with Cena? That is a wonderful question for another day. What do I think of Star Wars Theories Vader film? Trash. Not a fan. Not a fan. It's too over the top. Too fan servicey. I mean, it looks great. Like, the production of it is incredible. But in terms of the, in terms of the content, the story, not a fan. Considering going to Bricking Bavaria in Germany. Oh my crap, dude. That's awesome. You should definitely go if you can. Only OGs remember when Jay was building the ATM6. Well, that was a while ago. Have any ideas on conventions you're going to? I mean, it's probably just going to be Chicago, Virginia, Brick Fiesta. That's the Voyo special. You just pretended to be sleep. <laughs> Only the real OGs remember when Jay was building Scarif. That's that's a throwback. The weeks of salt squares, bro. Those were the days. I was even going to Virginia if you're going to be there, but also I'm going to try to go to Brick Fiesta. I feel like you have no excuse not to go to Brick Fiesta, Jedi Bob. No excuse. The thing about fan films is I watch Star Wars to get inspired for Mox, and I do not want to build something that's not canon. I generally agree. Only OGs remember get over here from the Force Awakens. <laughs> oh God, what have I done? When I move out the house in like a year or two, I want to try to go to more conventions. Any convention I keep in mind. Yeah, I mean Brick World, you've been there. Brick Fair Virginia is the other one I would say. What have I done? Quiet, girl. Favorite song I've made? Probably still Cold Like Hoth. I think that Murder on Anakin's Mind is the best song I've made, like, production-wise. Cold Like Hoth probably still has the best bars, though. Oh, jeez, remember Hand Twist Around. Now, that's a Boyo throwback. Hey, yo, just joining. Any details on when the new trailer's going to be out? Um, what's up, Owen, for one? How you doing, bro? Uh, the rumors are saying next Monday night during Monday Night Football. So, Jay, weird thing, weird thing, Jay, is that you've probably seen my cousin at the Lego store a bunch but never knew. That is funny. Next time they come, tell them to say hi to me, and I will say back. Yo, Jay, I need studs. How many more you need? There's a time to go to bed or the Boyo Ghost is going to get you. I'm getting pretty tired, but I'd like to at least finish this panel before I go off. 
I'm not super excited to see a new trailer. I don't want to get angry again. That's the thing, right? Like, I mean, I want to see a new. I want to see an actual trailer for one because we still have not gotten an actual trailer. But I too do not want to get angry again. I'm tired of being angry at Star Wars. I'm starting to wonder if I'm slowly losing uh, my love of Lego now. Hopefully not. The reason I say this is because I've normally been posting one video every two weeks uh, when normally it was like three a week. Um, I don't know. I think your your desire to grind on YouTube can be different than your just Star Wars or Lego love, you know? Like sometimes I'm just kind of like, you know, I really want to build, but I don't want to just, I don't want to record anything. And sometimes I have to tell myself like, to kind of maintain my love of Lego, you know, I'll just enjoy this without streaming or without, you know, publicizing it. Sometimes you got to do that. Pad wall doesn't have any very good parts. Yellow jumpers, purple with my two tiles, four by four ring plates. Ugh. All right, see so a brick builder Watts. This is where the fun begins. Ooh. Ooh. Jay, does your pap still have them? Uh, you can message me about that, Hunter. You call this a diplomatic solution? No, I call it aggressive negotiations ha 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 oh episode 2 is so funny it's hilarious alright see a spiffy dart I can't believe you guys are awake right now what are you doing up don't you guys have things to do tomorrow What four mini things do you want in the 2020 First Order Battle Pack? Um, ideally, just all Sith Troopers. Since there's going to be so many of them, why not just give us a Battle Pack with four of them? That'd be nice. I'd say either that, or if you're not going to just give us four Sith Troopers, two Sith Troopers and two First Order Stormtroopers. Troopers. But Obi-Wan yeets out the window. Um, <laughs> they, that made me and my brother die laughing. Your army going to be bigger. This Bruce Swift, uh, dude, dude, Bruce Swift is ridiculous. I have him on Instagram. I can't like, it's insane how many figures he has. I gotta work two jobs tomorrow. And wake up at six a.m. It's twelve a.m. I should sleep. Jeez. I'm glad you guys love me enough to stay up with me. I'll always remember it. I gotta go. All right, see you, man. Take care. Oh, never mind. He says I gotta go to school tomorrow, but I don't care. I stay up this late anyways. Rest, I need. I hope you don't need the Yoda type of rest, man. That's not good rest. That's dead rest. I'm from Canada. The last Jedi trailer came out Thanksgiving 2017. I wonder why it's scheduled to arrive a week after. I was so pumped for it. I feel like I was denied the rank of master. Aw. Yeah, if they could just go ahead and put out that uh, Rise of Skywalker trailer, that would be great. Bro. You gotta slide in her DMs, bro. She clearly misses you. 
and your clumsiness. Bro, Jar Jar got banned for being clumsy. You're having girls like your pictures for being clumsy. That's an accomplishment. Here next Star Wars mock PJ Gnosis. Maybe the recent scene with clones coming out. Custom accolade and next suit. It would be a challenge, but I'm sure you're capable. I would love to do that. It's just, I, I keep telling people, like, Geonosis is my dream mock. Like, if I had the parts to do it, I would have done it a long time ago. But if the color that I would want to do it in would complicate, you know, me being able to build something large scale for Geonosis. So in the meantime, probably not, but it's something I would love to do. Quiet girl. Favorite Jedi is Luke. Luke Skywalker. What's up, Garrett? How you been, bro? How you been, bro? DMK bro, she clearly wants to pick up where you guys left out, left off. Favorite clone trooper figure. Uh, phase one clone trooper can't go wrong with the P one boys. Favorite Sith, Darth Revan. Darth Revan. Rarth Devon. I already forgot their names, but someone told me and Garrett this the other day when we were streaming. What's the name of Ahsoka's boyfriend from Clone Wars? I'd love to see an Old Republic mock with Sith and Republic clones. Maybe inspiration from one of the game trailers in the woods with the Sith Magus in it. Do you have that figure? Probably one of my favorites. I do have that figure. Lux Bonteri, that's his name. Lux Bonteri, that's the one. Rush Clovis and Lux Bonteri. Rush Clovis. And Lux Bon Terry. Rush Terry and Lux Bon Clovis. Where are my one by three? Trevor, I'm just curious. You have a decent collection. I want to know in your collection right now, how many dark gray one by three uh, slopes do you have? How many Lego astronaut droids are there? I have no idea. There's a lot. I'm sure you know how I feel about Lux. Aw. Do you like Ashley Eckstein? The uh, voice actress for Asuka? Asuka? Asuka. You right. You right. Do you want me to count? I mean, you have that many? Oh my god. When I first started building this, I had, like, none. Did you hear that it's supposedly Rebels character will make a cameo in Mandalorian? I did not hear that. I wonder who it, I wonder if who it could be. I want to see Lux Bonteri, a Star Wars story. 
I want to see Lux Von Terry, a Star Wars story, and I want to see Rush Clovis, a Star Wars love story. Clovis, a Star Wars story. Lux, a Star Wars Bon Terry. Rush, a Star Wars. Clovis Bon Terry a Star Wars Lux I want to see Clovis getting beat up by Anakin for a whole movie yo that would be dope bro Anakin got them hands bro Are you going to put the new Jet Troopers in the mock? Maybe one standing on the turret? Probably not. Death Sticks Guy, a Star Wars story. It'd be called Sleaze Bagano, an Elon story. Weird enough, Lux is still alive. Another character Dave won't let go. Exactly. We need a Lux Von Terry Star Wars story. If you're expecting Dave Filoni to let go of a Star Wars character, you're going to have a bad time. Catch Lux in the Mandalorian. I think Lux Bon Terry is the Mandalorian. That's the only way to explain all this. I wish I could just wish my feelings away. Um, I thought I had more. I had like a dozen. Oh, okay. That's not a ton. Yeah, that was just one of those pieces like you expect to have a decent amount of, especially since it's in dark gray, but it's not a super common piece. Surprisingly enough. Oh, dude, I meant to start uploading over the summer. Just haven't yet. What kind of stop motion do you want to do? I love y'all that y'all are coordinating stop motions in the chat. I totally messed this up. Wait, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, darn it. I'm a guy that's 22. I live here in Oahu. Struggling to afford some, <laughs> some food. I'm Garrett. I'm a guy who's really scary. Each day I eat a cherry. I like Ahsoka. I'm Lux Bon Terry. I really dislike slopes. I think they're so ugly stacked sometimes. It works with other times. It's only okay for rock, rock work. I think it depends on how you use them. I'm a guy that's really scary. Each day I eat a cherry. I like Ahsoka. I'm Lux Bon Terry.
I see Lego fan 95 mini card. I was not alone. The zero point is now inevitable. Shout out to my boy Cosmic Brick 44 for the donut. Appreciate it, man. Ain't nothing like some good old late night donos to keep the blood pumping. What's smarter than this? What's smarter than this? I stay patient. I'm building a first order base on Pasana from episode 9. That sounds fun. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't get the reference, uh, Cosmic Brick. I am the Boyo Ghost. I eat a lot of toast. If you don't like the stream, I'm coming for you. I'll tell you guys one thing. The Boyo Ghost is a great salesman, and he don't like taking no for an answer. I'd love to see some Pasana stuff from the trailer coming out. Yeah, I mean, if you could wait a week, I'm sure you'll be good after that. Rush Clovis, Lux Bon Terry, like you've never seen them before. In the action packed adventure of the summer, check out Rush and Lux. A, st a Clovis Bond Terry. Rush and Lux. A Clovis Bond Terry. Have ever Bricklink to set before? Um, no. You should start making kits like Brickmania, I would buy. It's a lot of effort, and then they'd have to be dumb expensive. I mean, you, you've seen how expensive Brickmania is. Lux Bond Terry is Ray's grandfather. Ray's real name is Ray Bon Terry. Or Ray, Cl Ray Clovis. Ray Clovis. Rush Clovis. Rayush Clovis. It can't be a coincidence, right? I really want to build the Pasana speeders. There's just no reference material. Trevor, you were there for Boyo Friday, right? There, the, the other speeder... I mean, both of them are on that poster I got. Yo, dude, just go to Target and buy that poster. It's a good poster for one. And, like, stuff from all the new... Like, a lot of the new vehicles are on it. Rush Clovis. Rayush Clovis. Finally getting around this week to film a review of the Boyle Walker. Nice! That'll be the first review I've seen of that, so that should be fun to watch. Yo, I'm working at Target. My first day is this weekend, actually. Bro, go to the Star Wars section and pick up a poster. Also, congratulations on the job. Just go to the front of Target and tell them you want to speak to Lux Bon Terry. They'll know what you're talking about. What's up, D-Bricks Studios? I cannot get over those names. Rush Clovis and Lux Bon Terry. I don't know, they just they're just awesome sounding names. Come on, I do not love Rush Clovis or Lux Bon Terry. They just roll off the tongue. Can't buy anything, can you take a photo of the speeders? Uh yeah, I can do that. I got you, bro. If I forget, just remind me.
Um, no, man. I mean, I would say he's definitely not an old clone trooper. I mean, he's a Mandalorian, so he's definitely not an old clone trooper. He's an actual Mandalorian. It's, I don't think it's going to be anyone we know. And I, I certainly hope it's not. Do I need to pound my desk again and tell you that I need something new? Yeah, he's Lux. Okay, I, actually, that's a qualifier. I will have no issue if he ends up being Lux Bonteri. If the Mandalorian is Lux Bonteri, I would totally accept that. Wait, Trevor, did you just say you were actually Bonterrying that episode with uh, Clovis? Or were you rushing that episode with Lux? There's an important distinction to be made there, somewhere. Terry, a Star Wars Clovis. Pedro Pascal looks like an older Lux Bonte. That's a good point. Yo, guys, I think we may have discovered a secret. Gia. What do you think of the leak that we're getting of the new First Order Battle Pack? Do you think it'll be a Sith Trooper Battle Pack? I think it'll definitely be a Sith Trooper Battle Pack. I'd put money on that. I'd put my money on a Sith Trooper VP. Hold was Lux in the Clone Wars. We need to calculate how old he would be in Mando. I mean, he. I mean, he'd. Ha Let's say, he's like what fifteen maybe in the Clone Wars. So from Clone Wars to. Episode 3 is what, like a year or a year or two? So let's say he, maybe he's 17 during episode 3. 19 years from episode um, 3 to 4. So it's already putting him at what, 36? And um, so, and then episode 4 to 6, that's what, 5 years? So 41. So right after episode 6, he'd be 41. Okay, if he was 16 starting off, then he'd be 42 right after episode 6. So is the Mandalorian happening, like, right after episode 6, or is it closer to episode 7? Because episode 7 is... Has, like, a... Episode 6 to 7 is, what, like, 34 years? Yo, I think our boy Mandalorian is going to be a uh, Rush Clovis. Or is he going to be Lux Von Terry? Which one have we decided which one he's going to be? Is he uh, he's Lux, right? Probably old enough to be raised dead. Five years after Return of the Jedi, so he'd be like 47 then. 
I don't know. I don't know if that character is that old. They can make it work, though. Our boy Lux is coming back, guys. We made it. We did it! In the words of Leia. Wait, but wait, Ahsoka is like 35 in Star Wars Rebels. I mean, that makes sense. That was... Is that not consistent with what I said? If Ahsoka's 35 in Rebels, which is what, like five years or so before episode four? Well, depends on where you are. Let's just, let's say it's three years. Let's say Rebels is three years before episode four. So then that leaves 16 years between episodes three. So if you de-age her by 16 and she's... Well, how old did you say she was? 36? 35? So take off 16. That's what, 19 years old? And that during episode three? And, you know, like, a few years before that. That sounds about right. Do you think the Jedi Youngling at the end of Episode 8 will play a role in Episode 9? Nah, not at all. Unfortunately, our boy Tim Reblag, I think he was a one and done. As much as I despise Lux, because it's Star Wars content, I pretty much have to watch it. Yeah, that's my life in a nutshell. It's Star Wars content, so I pretty much have to watch it. Oh god, why and how do you know his name? Um, I mean, it's in the Visual Dictionary. If you're not reading the Visual Dictionary to your Star Wars films, you're missing out. Missing out on some good lore. That lore is the good stuff. I'm so excited that Lex Bonteri is coming back. That's a return I can get behind. Who needs Darth Maul when you got a memorable character like Lux Bon Terry? Jay would be the type to read the visual dictionary before <laughs> before bed to his kids. Absolutely. If you're not doing that, you don't love your kids enough. That's all I know. Jay, do you think we'll get the other four Knights of Ren next year? Um, I want to say no. We're probably not. We might get two of them if we're lucky. Unfortunately. That seems the way Lego likes to do things. To be the, the way Lego likes to do things now. Like, we still have all the Knights of Ren. So, put that into perspective. You think Darth Maul will have something to do with the Mandalorian? Oh, God. Since Dave Filoni is involved, I'm going to say probably yes, but I sure hope not. I'm getting the vibe you haven't finished Clone Wars Season 6 because Clovis. Oh, did I say Clovis? I meant to say Lux. My bad. I'm 
Bro, I'm just excited to see Bon Terry a, a, a Bon Terry a Lux story. What's up, Spiff? WTF, how can Lego make every Black Order member from Marvel, but only some of the Knights of Ren? Because they know they can milk it. They know they can get away with just putting out a few now, and then putting out the rest later. They know what they're doing. Huh. I wonder if I even have that piece. Let's see what we got. Hey, I do. Dark gray cylinders. Hey, something happened. Hey, shout out to Maligan. What's going on, dude? Also, will Captain Fast be in the trash compactor in the mock? Absolutely. For sure. Houston got that dub over my homeboy yesterday. Watson looking crazy. Bro, the league has been sleeping on Watson, bro. The league has been sleeping on Watson. Sorry, we'll show him this year, though. So that dude says, hope at some point we see... Yeah, uh, Commander Pyre minifig. If you don't know, he yeah he's the gold he's the the gold guy from uh, Resistance. But yeah, I hope so. Definitely a cool looking character design. I got respect for my gold boys. Too busy talking about Pat, but now Watson forced himself. I mean, Deshaun Watson was Patrick Mahomes before Patrick Mahomes was Patrick Mahomes. People seem to forget about Watson's rookie season where he broke tons of records. So it's nice to see him getting the respect he deserves again. Kind of annoying how rare plain P2 clones are getting there are people who don't even build mocks that have 150s collecting not going to name names ooh that's some shade are they really getting rare now that that battle pack is retired like have you been checking prices how many did you get i probably ended up with around like 70 or so from battle packs which i mean i, I would have liked more but that's not that's not a bad place to be
Jay, gotta be honest with you, I kind of like the old P2 Clone Trooper. I don't necessarily like it more than the new one, but there's just something about it. I mean, okay. I mean, I like that that figure reminds me of my childhood, but it is objectively ugly and accurate. Jay, do you like Raylo Theory? Don't lie. I hate it. I don't have any. I'm talking about the new plain white. Oh, the face too. I don't know why I, I thought I read phase one. Yeah, that one, that one is a problem. That one is definitely a problem. What's your favorite Lego clone army? Clones, phase one, phase two. I mean, I gotta go with my first order army. In terms of aesthetics, I think the rebel army is probably the nicest to look at. Just because there's so much variety with them, like, I don't know. Rebel, I think the rebel army looks just really good in Lego. But when it comes to, like, my personal collection, my first order army is definitely my best. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream, Trevor. I'm actually probably going to head out soon. I'm almost done with this section. I'm already yawning. I'd like to sleep a little. Just a, just a tad. Just a tad. There's nothing nicer than getting a replenishment of uh, parts from BrickLink. Like, when you know you've been low on something for a while... And then you didn't get an order in. You can just replenish those parts. It's a good time. Let's see what we got. Shout out to Mal again for the $1 dono. He says, will there be any Lego Star Wars The Clone Wars Easter eggs in the mock like last time? Also, I'm Cold to Christensen. Yeah, I know exactly who you are. Um, yes, I want to have pretty much the Easter egg of all Easter eggs. If I can pull it off, we'll see. If I can't pull it off, I'll certainly like let you guys know. But until then, I'm keeping it a secret. Um, so we shall see, we shall see. Um, hey, shout out to Warhead777100. He says, Houston beats New England and ASC champ game fly, Eagles fly. I like that respect to Houston, bro. It took a win over Kansas City, but I'm loving the Houston respect. But thanks so much for the donation, bro. Any pictures of Star Killer I need that I can't find online? Um, nothing at the moment. Like, finding the pictures of the turret was kind of annoying initially, but I pretty much have resolved that at this point. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. Appreciate you for inquiring on that, though. I know reference material can be a pain to get a hold of sometimes. Oh, yes. But, yeah, like we were saying, especially, like, simple or common parts, you know? Like, stuff that you just kind of expect to have at any given time. In case you can't tell, I'm so into the Clone Wars right now. Everything I display at conventions this year is some sort of Clone Wars vehicle. I mean, I'm down with that. Clone Wars has some good vehicles. You need more pictures of the turret, like the top? Um, nah, I'm good. I already designed it. The turret design is done. So I'm... I've moved on from that. No. Where is... The bend with the curved slopes. Here we go. Shout out to someone for subscribing. Warhead777100. Awesome. First time demo and new subscriber. Love to see it. Love to see it. Do you already know what your next mock is? I mean, I'm sure it's going to be something for episode 9. I just don't really know what. It'll depend on how the movie plays out, you know? So in other words, yes and no. All right, we got ourselves a side. I mean, some of the colors are kind of off, and I, I want to add more detail on the side, actually. But um, this is going to be one of the side panels on the turret. You guys feeling that? It's a good amount of detail in there, I think. Jay, check a tutorial on YouTube for how to go outside the map on Battlefront 2. You can actually do it. Can I do it without being online? Can I do it just on a single player?
Also, can I do it on PS4? Or does it have to be PC? Will Santa make an appearance in the snowy part of Starkiller? Uh, he just might. That's not a bad idea. Alright, let's see. I mean, this thing is still all in sections, so I can't do a great job at showing it off, but I can at least try to give you guys an idea of what the heck this is going to look like. Do I find out about LEGO sets early because I work for LEGO? No. I get all my news from the fan sites just like you guys. I mean, LEGO is super protective, you know, over stuff that's supposed to be secrets, so... It's only on PC. I, get, I mean, I have the game on PC. It just it doesn't run great on my computer right now. I have to look into it. We'll see. I mean, if I get to a point where I really need reference material, I'll check it out. But for now, I think I'm, I'm good. Thanks for looking out, though. Oh, God. This is not going to be easy. All right, let's try this. God. Can you guys even see this? Let me pull up the camera. Alright, here you go. You can't see it. We actually move it a little bit closer. Adding any lights to the mock. There's going to be a ton of lights on like the inside of the base. But um, for the outside right now, no plans. Okay, so you guys get the gist so far. Um, custom weapons, good question. Uh, I'm not sure. That's a terrible angle. Here, let's see, maybe this will work. Here we go. Uh, interior shots, not really right now. So this is, okay, how the heck does this, that sits in there like that, and then this, it's somewhat like this, this is the gist of it. I don't know if that sits on top, that angle doesn't match up like it should, so that's probably wrong. Maybe it comes out more. Yeah, it's going to be basically something like this. So, uh, I know I'm covering it with my hand, that doesn't help. Oh god, what broke? I don't even know what broke. Oh, one of the hinges, of course. You try to add lights to the TIE Fighter and maybe some of the inside of the transport ship. I'd actually love to add lights to the inside of the transporter. I actually kind of built it to do that. I just didn't do it. But um, that might be something I look at down the road. Is there any red material you need? Um, at the moment, no. I'm, I'm pretty good right now. But as I want to build a Clone Wars mock, I think it'd be a good idea to build up something I mock first because it's relevant. You will have at least one mock uh, from all the sequels. That is true. That's pretty cool, right? Like, obviously, taking care of Episode 7 right now, Episode 8 we did Crate, and then Episode 9 will be something. Um, we can add a few of these right now. Shout out to you see did you get did you see it on the stream? And sorry for the almost seizure tie. Would you like it if there was a big battle on Pasana? No, it probably won't happen, but it would be cool. I'll take a big battle of any kind anywhere. I'm not super picky about it. 
Okay, this is not even going to stay up, but... Oh, it'll, it'll kind of stay up. All right. This is such a makeshift way to have this set up, but I'm going to try to show you guys what this is looking like. So this is the base of the turret so far. We're having here. Got some decent detail on the side. This should be kind of more up that way. But, um, yeah, I think it's looking pretty dang good. I'm a big fan. I'm a very big fan. So, um, that's actually going to finish up... Oh, God, I dropped it. I didn't drop it, but I knocked it down. That's actually probably going to finish up the stream today, guys. Here, let me put that back. You can actually see the camera there. And uh, you can turn off. There we go. So, yeah, this is my mock. Um, it's a nice mock. I like it. And, yeah, this is a big boy. Can't wait to... I gotta build basically a mirror of this tomorrow. Should be easier now that I have this built. I can really just look at this and build the other side. Um, and then, of course, the actual big turret part. And the big cannons that stick out of it. And we'll have one turret. Then you gotta do the exact same thing all over again. Don't you guys love building things twice? Um, so yeah, I appreciate all of you guys for tuning in for this late night stream. It was a good time. Got some decent work done. Got some semblance of a turret. So my goal tomorrow, I'm going to try to get up early and just hammer away at this thing and get it just done. Um, so I can upload a Starkiller base update. So hopefully you guys get an update tomorrow and you will see this turret complete placed on the mock. So stay tuned. Uh, looking forward to that. And we will move uh, on from there. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I love, man, this thing looks so cool. Honestly, I love the way it looks. I need to add more snow detail to it. That's something I didn't really do in the file because I knew I was going to need to build two of them, which meant I was going to need to have different snow details on both. So the goal then is just going to be to randomize it, and that's something that's not super deep, super difficult. I can just add the detail. It's not going to be a huge issue. Um, but, uh, I mean, it, it works, you know? Like, everything's kind of coming together pretty well. And... It'll be really nice when I actually get the big turret sitting on top of this thing. So, that's all I got for you guys tonight. Appreciate you all again once more. Um, and I'll see you guys very soon. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.